Hello. Hey, Johnny. Hey, what's going on, guys? Eat my apples here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install this pretty awesome alternative Siri port for your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4th generation, uh, second generation, pretty much any uh, iOS device generation that you've got, they have it ported for uh, all the other devices. So basically what this is, is not an exact uh, full version port of Siri. This is called Sarah, and basically it looks like Siri and it uh, acts like Siri, it sounds like Siri. But it isn't Siri, so uh, you can pr you can probably trick some people with this. Uh, it, it works. It responds to all your voices and stuff. So let me just show you the package right here in Cydia. And just so people don't think that I'm lying about the, this being a 4S or something, as you can see here, there's no SIM card slot. This is the uh, Verizon iPhone 4. And, uh, yeah, so this is the Verizon iPhone 4, as you can also see here in Cydia down here. iPhone 4 CDMA. So uh, if we get into how to install Sarah onto your iDevice, first what you're going to do is open up Cydia and go into your sources. And you're going to want to add the source right here. I'll uh, also put it in the description, but as you can see here, it's isoftjsc.com. So once you've got that source added into your Cydia, uh, you'll basically want to scroll down. And uh, you'll see that they've got... The Sarah for the iPhone 2G and 3G, and then uh, the Siri for the iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4th generation. So you're just going to install the correct package corresponding to your device. So once you've got that installed from Cydia, you'll see you'll have a new icon on your home screen called Sarah. And you just go ahead and open that up. And there we go. So as you guys can see, it does look a lot like Siri. Um, except it also has some extra functions. So if we go into settings here, it'll say uh, your city, your name. Uh, RSS URL, a lot of different stuff, so you can use this to control a lot of your different, uh, a lot of different stuff with this. And then also here we've got a keyboard, so instead of speaking the command, you can type in the command. So, uh, if I just say hi here and okay. Hi, have a nice day, Johnny. You'll see that it responds to hi, because that's what I typed in. So, uh, you'll see that the voice also works. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Oh. I don't understand you. Take a show. Will I is rain my day? So what's the am I? Hello. All right. Well, that was an interesting response to, uh, hello, Sarah. I don't think it understood me correctly, but you can obviously see that the, vo see that the voice input does work, uh, and the voice, uh, the microphone completely functions and stuff like that. So if you've got an iPod to second generation or any device without a microphone built into it, Sarah will not open up. It's not the app's fault that it's crashing. It knows that it's crashing. Uh, the only way it's going to open is if you do have a mic. So if you don't have a mic on your second gen or whatever other iDevice you have, you can just uh, get a pair of the Apple headphones that have the microphone built into them. Uh, those work great with it. It'll uh, open up Sarah, and you can just use the microphone on those. And uh, Sarah will work perfectly with those. So that is how to get Sarah, the uh, Siri alternative, on your iPhone 4, iPod 2nd generation, etc., etc. So that is it, guys. Thanks for watching.